when you have a chance to get a difference maker and you have him rated high, go for it. Oh, what an atmosphere here in Montreal. And remember, thanks to COVID, it was a two-year wait for this city to host the draft. But finally, we're here. I am delighted to be conducting a draft in person again. How many good days can you stack up on top of each other? So you have a good day, can you stack up another good day on top of that? You're a good player. Keep it going. I don't doubt for a second he's going to do everything within his power to get to be a, an elite right. NHL player. Now they've got to start, eh? Okay? You guys have been working hard leading up to this. Again, nothing is finalized until we walk into the rink there on Thursday. I'm excited about the week. I'm excited for the staff too. They, they did a, a really good job during the year and this is their graduation. I know some guys feel strongly about some players maybe down in the lineup. You know, we'll go through here, just kind of talk about uh, the list here a bit more. And if anybody has anything to, they want to pipe up, don't be shy. Just kind of basically finalizing, going through, you know, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, and making sure that we've got all our work done and, you know, go through the list, talk about players, maybe move some players around a little bit. Basically just talk about it and make sure we're, we're putting guys in the right spot and we have them in the right spot. Is he too high for me there? Not really. I mean, could you make a battle for the other six guys behind him? Sure. Yeah, that, that's, but that's where we are this year, it seems like, at the draft. I think it's always exciting when you walk into the draft. You're getting a chance to select some new kids for the future of the franchise. And I think for our group, it's a chance to probably put our stamp on the team and how we're going to move forward in the future, what kind of players we want. I don't want to have a third line guy in the first round. I, I don't. Those guys, you can find, you can find them on the free agency like C-plus players, you can find them in free agency. What you can't find is the difference makers. Right. Those, you, ca you can't buy a difference maker. It's too expensive. Right. So in order to be good, you gotta, you gotta find those difference makers. You, you have more players to talk about the further down you are in the draft, and, and you're hoping that maybe some players that you had uh, rated uh, fairly high are gonna slide out of there and be available at 15. And talking to our staff here, they're excited about a lot of players, so I definitely hope uh, at 15 we're gonna get a player that can help our club uh, for a long time. He plays that, like you said, that cerebral game in and out of holes. Do you think he's going to be able to get to the inside at the next level? He's never going to be a hard inside guy, but he's smart enough and skilled enough to play on the inside and make plays and still affect the game on the inside. At the end of the day, everybody's competing at the National Hockey yes. League level. What separates them is the skill level. And it's easy to fall in love with, with the high character, compete players in this level. But what are the, how can they get to the next level where everybody's competing? Like, you got to have, you got to be smarter. You got to be more skilled. Like, at some point, like everybody's going to compete. A lot of it's going to have to do with, with, with what goes on above us. The draft is going to be a little bit all over the place. So, you know, we've got to be prepared for everything. And we've got the guys that we kind of zeroed in on. And we'll see what happens on draft day. When we leave this room, we're leaving it together. And this is the list we're sticking with. It's easy to say you, you want to have a better player. But this is the reality of this year's draft. Yeah. And you guys have done all the work, all the due diligence here. So when we're leaving this room on Thursday, this is a collaboration, this is our team list. It's not about pointing fingers or anything like that. This is what we're sticking to. The wait is over, and after months of analysis and speculation, the top NHL prospects are gonna have a new home. Montreal hosting the draft for the first time since 2009. I'm really grateful for the opportunity. I think, you know, there were times I didn't think that was a, an option for women, you know, growing up. There was no representation, so it wasn't something that I thought would happen in my lifetime, because I've always been the one sort of in that age of like the first of things. I think in before it was like, well, women can't do this job, or women aren't qualified, women don't know hockey, but that's just not true. That's just, you know, biases or myths. For me, it's just about hiring the right people and the most competent people, whether they're male or female. And I feel like that's that's what we're doing. So as long as it, it keeps going in that trend and we're doing it for the right reasons, then I'm all for it. It's a fantastic scene here in Montreal. The city is buzzing. The building is buzzing. And for the first time in three years, all the prospects, all the team executives together in person in one building, we're back. So many sacrifices for all these families, but tonight it's all worth it. 32 young men will try on their very own NHL sweater for the very first time. How do you feel? Good? Excited? Yes. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, good. 
The teams are ready, the prospects are ready, and yes, the fans are ready to the 2022 NHL entry draft starts now. Uh, pass on that one. We're not we're not moving down. No. No. Lucky man, we got an eight seven on the net on the list for a reason, right? Yeah. He's a good he's a good player. Yeah. You guys are pounding the table for Lecky Mac. Lecky Mac is the guy, right? He's his top he's the top six scorer. Yeah, we're gonna pick, yep. Yeah, thanks, man. Vancouver is on the board at 15. Some pretty good picks have gone at 15. Joe Sackick, Al McInnes. We're not sure if uh, Patrick Alvin in his very first pick with the Canucks is going to hit a home run like that. But it's good to know you can get a guy at 15 sometimes and you have this diamond in the rough. Should be, should be excited about this one. Well, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, a skill. Like, yeah. it's the hardest thing to do is score a goal. Yeah. Vancouver Canucks are proud to select from uh, Sweden the SHL Jurgården Jonathan Lekkerbäcki. This kid here, your goal scorer. When the game's on the line and you need a goal, somebody gets a puck out of a corner, puts it on his stick, he's putting it in the back of the net. He's a legitimate sniper. He turns 18 in two weeks. We forget how young some of these prospects are, right? Like some of them are, you know, 18 and a bit. This guy isn't 18 yet, just 17 years of age. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. We'll see you soon, though. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Michael Samuelson was really excited about Black and Mac and when I talked to him today, when you have a chance to get a difference maker and you have him rated high, go for it. 322 in the morning in Sweden. Oh my god. <laughs> and my kids were up watching the draft. 322 awesome. in the morning in Sweden. <laughs> Sun is on his way up, right? That's awesome. Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing. So yeah. I can't describe it. Hey Canucks fans, I'm so proud to be a part of the organization and I'm looking forward to play for you. Laker and Mackey, it's hard. Looking good? Obviously we are really uh, happy and excited to have uh, Lekemeke there at uh, number 15. We had him rated a little bit higher here. Well, I think he's a dynamic player. He has the ability to, to score goals, but also make a lot of plays. I think his hockey sense is great. He, he's a threat in so many different ways. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. He's the most hardworking person I know, and I know he will do his very best. You know, a lot of excitement, and I'm happy for my staff that we're back in this environment again instead of having a remote. We will recap here tonight and um, see what we can do, and uh, see what players are available, and see what their staff thinks about them. Hello, bonjour from beautiful Montreal and day two of the NHL entry draft. 32 picks down, many more still to come. Rounds two through seven coming up in the next couple of hours and a chance for teams to stock their cupboards for the future. As we know day one is all about the glitz and glamour. Day two, rounds two through seven, this is where you build a team for years to come. What is what does it cost to move up? Are you making it? Todd? Yeah. You got it? You got the first one. You got it. You got it. Vancouver Slacks, Tamar, Alliance, Heathers. Atta boy, Todd. Huh? What a voice. <laughs> amazing. Pure happiness through my body, so yeah. It was amazing. I've seen him quite a bit, seen him earlier in the year, seen him at the end of the year, seen him in between. You know, I, I like what he brings. Good skater, moves pucks, plays with some bite. What I really liked to watch the World Championships was uh, he was injured. Five on three, he wasn't playing. They were down, they put him on the ice for the five on three and he didn't shy away with blocking shots. And then he didn't play the rest of the game, so that tells me something. Vancouver Canucks select from Memorial High School, Damon Gardner. Vancouver selects Damon Gardner from Memorial High School. 
What a thrill it was to be back in person. It's been a long couple of years. Last time we did this in person, eye to eye, hand to hand, was in Vancouver. Our staff has done a great job. They've worked hard, went to the games, traveled in cars, traveled in planes, and they've put in the hours, and this is a big day for them. Given the staff confidence to, to do their job, trusting the staff, that's what we've done. We're real happy with what we've done today. Everybody has a different path to get to the NHL. It's not a sprint, it's not about playing one game. The coaching staff in Abbotsford and our development staff is going to help you, guide you to become an NHL player. There's not going to be any excuses for not. We have all the resources here. And they're going to help you guys if you're willing to sacrifice what it takes to become a player. Every day, every single day, you guys have something to prove. So take the advantage here, being around this environment, have fun, and make sure you guys ask a lot of questions because we have a lot of quality people here. Again, enjoy this week. Very welcome to the Canucks. For us, obviously, it's to get our players in one room together, allow them to, to get to know us as an organization, get to know the resources and the staff that, that we have here, and, and it's a chance for us to get to know them, uh, their strengths and weaknesses, and, and be able to instill some of our organizational values and foundations into the players while they're here that they can take with them within the rest of the summer and heading into the, the seasons coming in the fall. So, you know, it's, it's about balance of the education and the evaluation at one time. We want them to leave here with a plan and an understanding of what we expect from them over the next two months and obviously them understanding that they've got the resources that we have here to help them do that. I've said to this group is that before they can be a part of our future I want them to understand the, the, the history of the organization and I think it helps their investment into the organization when they understand what's gone on. There's been a lot of whether it's teams and players, managers, trainers, coaches, you name it, that have you know, really made the Canucks organization what it is to this day and, and I want the players to understand that and feel that. On and on and off your stick, the shots. On and off your stick, no catch release. Keep them tight, keep them tight. If you're just moving your hands, this move is worthless. You gotta move your shoulders, move your weight. If you're just moving your hand, you're not gonna fool anybody. And then now you're escaping, you know what I mean? You're doing it quick, but sell that fake, sell that fake. So he bites, boom, now you're out of there. Just come here with an open mind. Be eager to learn. At the end of the day, we could give them as much information, as much awareness as possible. They gotta take this information, chew on it, and apply it, execute. Bring it back to their junior teams, to their college teams, teams overseas. And another thing too, there's so many great resources. There's a skill coach, skating coach, you know, mental skills, there's a performance staff. All these great resources, they've met a lot of folks. You know, we want them to know that there's a lot of people behind them, supporting them, that are gonna help them get to the next level. Development camp kind of has a different feel to it. It's pretty cool to be here and uh, experience this with all the coaches and the staff is amazing. I mean, you got two Hall of Famers out there. You got Mike Thomas, Eric, um, Higgy, and uh, RJ, and all these guys like Yogi. It's it's pretty cool to be able to pick their brains and uh, have fun out there with them. We've built a group that allows these players to have every resource at their fingertips, whether it's mental performance and skills and skating, the off ice, the on ice. I think we've covered the block with them. And so it's important for us to know that in this crucial time for us as an organization and wanting to head the right way, it's all gonna happen through these young kids. Looking good, looking like you're having fun. Oh yeah. Keep it going. Nothing better than playing hockey. You're right. It's a fun way to spend your day. No backs towards to play. When you're turning up here, yeah. can you open up and, yeah. and watch the game like, yeah. or watch the play? Yeah. So if you're the D-man, I'm you right now. You're coming in here, like, yeah, like, hey, here. Be in front of him. Don't, no, not here. Like, be in front of him. Make sense? Yeah. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if you're in front of him, and you are, you were in front of him. So coming in here, you open up, like, then, he, then he's, then he's here getting the puck from you. You're a good player. 
Keep it going. If you bump it to your partner, now come up, come up through the middle of the ice. Take that couple strides, you know? No, you don't have a problem with that. But that D-man, right? He's going, he's going. Yeah. He's uh, come on, almost activating. It's a good drill, like all these drills today that we're doing all this stuff by the boards, yeah. right? All the tight turns. Yeah. Like what I always tell you, right? As you're coming out of these, make sure your feet are moving, right? Like yeah. That's gonna be, as soon as you make a tight turn, like in your brain, yeah. move your feet, move your feet, right? Yeah. All these things, like these are good drills for you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Getting all the prospects together is, you know, the first time in a number of years that we've been able to pull, pull everyone together organizationally. Uh, so some of these things that we do, the cooking classes, the escape room, you know, kind of let them do their own thing, see see who, which which guys step up and become leaders and, and lead the group. And, you know, it's uh, it's pretty, pretty rewarding to see that. Beautiful and delicious dessert. So first we have Italian biscotti with hazelnuts, cranberries and some orange zest. And then we got chocolate pate topped with raspberries and mango. Okay, you guys are gonna be broken up into teams, okay? You have to go up the mountain as a team, and you have to travel together. When you get to the top, there's another stone up there, you stop your timer. How many days, how many good days can you stack up on top of each other? So you have a good day, can you stack up another good day on top of that? Right? So think about that as you go as, as you go back. Keep your keep your focus small. Just worry about you know having a good day, doing the things you need to do, and then stack that the good day on top of another good day and see how long you can take that. <laughs> All right. Other than that, really happy with the work, the attitude of you guys. Um, you guys have been a pleasure to work with. So thank you. The importance that we have as an organization on the development and, and their careers and what that means to us and to our future is, is everything. You build an organization through the draft, they've gotten the message how important it is that whether it's three, four, five, as many as these guys can be a part of our future and wear a jersey one day down at Rogers Arena. But I think the, the, the group can feel that and uh, an excitement from the staff and management and it's kind of bleeding through that so it's been a great week. You know, whoever we draft, our goal is to get the best out of every single player. Get them to get to the highest level that they can get. And that's what our guys are really going to be focused on, is every player that we put in our prospect pool, no matter if they're a first rounder or a seventh rounder, we want to get them to their potential. And we want to support them in their growth. And that's where our group is really excited. The guys that we brought on, are they're, they're chomping at the bit to get going. It's going to be really, you know, good to see how it all comes to fruition in the next little while.